After the more or less convincing remake of The Lion King by Disney, the next edition of a Disney classic has now been confirmed. It's the 1955 released movie Lady and the Tramp, which will be re-released as a live action film for Disney+. While in The Lion King people were thinking that real animals were standing in front of the camera, in Lady and the Tramp this will actually be the case. In the story of the Disney classic, Lady, who belongs to a noble family, falls in love with the stray tramp and together the two of them take on a mean dark hatcher during the course of the film. Whether or not the new edition will stick to the original movie or not isn't yet officially decided. Behind the camera there is also a decent speaker constellation, as Avengers star Tessa Thompson dubs Lady and Justin Theroux from American Psycho Tramp. Furthermore, Sam Elliott, Benedict Wong and many more will be heard. The Lady and the Tramp remake will be immediately available for the US launch of Disney Plus on November 12, 2019. Despite the unsuccessful release of Solo, a Star Wars story, there has been speculation for some time that Disney will produce another Star Wars series for its streaming service Disney+. Plus. You could already read in February on the internet platform Star Wars Newsnet that Luke's mentor Obi-Wan Kenobi is most likely to be considered for it. And now it is finally official. There will be a series with Evan McGregor in his role as Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. The exact plot of the series isn't known yet, but due to the age of McGregor it's assumed that the series will be set between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. An exact release date is not known, but the Star Wars series The Mandalorian will be released on November 12th on Disney Plus and the last film of the Skywalker saga, The Rise of Skywalker, will be released on December 18th in the cinemas. Quentin Tarantino's ninth film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood has been shown in US cinemas for three weeks. Since he has often announced that after 10 films it will be over, many fans are curious to know what the culmination and last film of Tarantino will be. Currently considered are Django slash Sorrow and Star Trek, but also Kill Bill 3. In a podcast Tarantino also revealed that if his 10th film was to be made from one of his other films, it would be a third Kill Bill. This statement also boosts the fact that he spoke to lead actress Uma Thurman, who was very pleased with the idea. Unfortunately there is no production start date yet. The Chinese film industry has been booming for years, no wonder that even world famous Hollywood blockbusters are used as role models for in-house productions. Currently all three films of the upcoming Feng Shen trilogy are being shot, which are heavily based on Lord of the Rings. In an interview with Variety, the director explains that they want to combine Lord of the Rings and Iron Man. But that's not all, as the Feng Shen trilogy will be the beginning of a gigantic franchise and will include an elaborate schedule for the next 30 years. Director Wu Shan makes no secret out of the fact that they clearly orientate themselves on the MCU because he wants to use the Marvel Universe method to get deeper into each character. The movies are also quite expensive, as the budget for Feng Shan is set at incredible 445 million US dollars. In terms of content, Feng Shan will also be based on the Chinese literary classic Creation of God from the 16th century, in which elements from history, mythology and folklore are mixed. It will be exciting to see whether the producer's plan works out and whether Feng Shen marks the beginning of a great era. The release date is supposed to be 2022 and it is said that Disney and Feng Shen are already talking about international marketing rights. It's common practice at the cinema to turn off your cell phone. An idea of Alexandre Aja, however, now plans to see the cinema hall as an interactive stage and to be able to access the screen with a mobile phone. The Collider reports that the Crawl director is currently preparing for a still nameless interactive haunted house horror film. Steven Spielberg's production company Emblem Partners will then take over the realization of the film project. The screenplay will be written by Nick Simon and led by the Spook in Hill House creators Jeff Howard and Mike Flanagan. The interactive method, which is strongly reminiscent of Bandersnatch, is to be called Control Movie Technology and allows the viewer to make groundbreaking decisions in the film itself. Thus, the film can also have different running times and ends. The decision making is made thereby democratically after the majority principle. Definitely an exciting idea which already exists in home cinema. When the production starts isn't known yet though. On 6th of September, chapter 2 of it will be released in the cinemas. Director Andy Muschietti provides fans with the eagerly awaited sequel to his celebrated adaption of the Stephen King novel. After that he continues as a director of the comic version of The Flash and the post-apocalyptic film The Electric State. But as a producer he will remain faithful to Stephen King, since he and his sister Barbara Muschietti have been working on the next adaption for a long time. The King novel Roadwork, published in 1981 under an alias, is supposed to serve as a model for a fantastic script. 
However, the Maschietis don't want to take too much time, as the shooting is supposed to start at the beginning of next year. Roadwork is about Barton George Dawes, who runs a laundry in his house. However, when he is told that his house and thus his last existence is to be demolished due to a motorway construction, Dawes arms himself in his house and slowly but surely falls into madness. With the start of shooting next year, a release at the end of 2020 or 2021 is likely.